Hello friends, I am Trishan Nagal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to display the messages on the screen using C program. Let's start the program with the error file as include stdio.s. This stdio.s is used for standard input output and it is the common error file that is used in C program. The include stdio.s, it is a preprocessor command and this command tells compiler to include the content of stdio.s file in the program. The stdio.s file contains functions such as scanf and printf to take input and output respectively. If we use printf function without this error file, it means that the program will not be compiled. So to use predefined function in our program, we must use the header file. The next header file is as include conio.s. This conio.s is used to use the function clrscr function or getcs function. This clrscr function clears the screen and getcs function it holds the screen until and unless we press any key. So now let's start the program, main program, void main. This main fun function or the main program is start with the curly braces and end with the curly braces. It means that the main function or the program is start with these curly braces. C program it is case sensitive to and the execution of program that starts with a main function in C there is one main function whatever we execute that we write inside the main function and main function contains two part one is declaration part and next is executable part to print some messages only to print some messages declaration part is not essential that's why I write your printf function to display some messages hello world. This printf function, this printf function displays the string that are written inside this quotation mark. And always the statement is terminated with semicolon. So it is the executable part. This executable part always terminate with the semicolon. After this statement with the function getch, this getch function is used to hold the to hold the message on the screen until and unless we press any key. So to use this getch in our program we have to include conio.h. After writing this program in any C editor, we have to save this program with the extension .c because the C program extension is .c. So, after saving, we can compile the program we can compile the program from the menu or we can use the shortcut method or shortcut key alt plus f9 to compile the program. After compiling the program, if there are errors, they are listed below and if we see any errors, 
then we recorrect that error when correcting that error then again we compile that program if there are no errors then we can see zero errors after compiling the program we have to run the program to run the program we can use menus from menu we can click run or we can use shortcut key that is ctr control plus f9 to run the program we can press control f9 to run the program after running this program now the output this is the output i already said that print f displays the print f displays the string that is inside the quotation mark so the output is hello world so this is a simple program to display the hello world message on the screen thank you for watching video